Hi, this is Carolyn, the Jersey Girl. This is, I haven't done a, a YouTube video in quite a while. Uh, my husband had a stroke, so I kind of got, I had to do certain things that did not allow me to play much on the internet. But I wanted to show you um, this jelly plate. This was made uh, with a combination of the frugal, uh, of Lindsay's, uh, the frugal crafter, and Shaz uh, of Oz. It's a blog spot that she put the, her original, um, I think it was a hectograph that they used to use for printing years ago. Anyway, there was two recipes that I combined, and I'm going to leave links down wherever how this camera is going down down there, I guess, right here. Down if you look down this way, they'll be or this way. Wait a minute, I'm trying to figure out my camera is like totally screwed up, so I don't know how I'm going to come out to you guys. But look underneath this. I'm going to leave links to Lindsay's and also to Shaz's blog spot. And this uh, recipe is a tweaked recipe that I used. Now the first time I laid my uh, uh, roller, my, you know, my, oh Lord, I can't even think today, my um, brayer down on it, it like got stuck. And I was like, oh no, because there was sugar in this recipe that I used uh, that was part of Shaz's recipe. And I combined it with Lindsay's recipe and, I, you know, Underneath you'll have my recipe that I'm using and then I'll links to there so you can go maybe, you know, use theirs instead. Anyway, when I first put it down, I was like, oh Lord, this is not going to be good because it's sticking to the darn thing. But then as I started to play with it, uh, it's part of, um, I, this was a, a Saturday surprise for the, um, the series that I'm doing on the art of the jelly. And this, I'm going to, I'll leave the girls some, a link so that they can see it, but they've been with me for a week. We've been learning alternate ways to use the jelly plate. But since this was a recipe that I got off the, off of uh, YouTube, I thought, you know what, let me go back and show why the, what the advantage to having the recipe that I use because, okay, if you want to get a very interesting texture, a lot of times it's hard in the jelly plate because the stuff is sliding and it's not really working that well um, as far as holding a, Okay, you know what? I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to show you what I mean, okay? And this is jelly juice, and if you want to learn about jelly juice, I'm, I'm sorry, but you've got to take my class because this is something that I'm sharing only with the people in my class because it's an amazing additive that we can use for the jelly. And I just want to show you. Okay, so now I've used the jelly juice, and um, you probably could get the similar effect if you use plain water, but there's a reason why I made, I came up with a recipe for my jelly juice, and you can always go and take my class. It's not that expensive and I share hours I'm on for six days I share hours and hours of information but this is what I wanted to show you you see of course the roller but it, it's holding a very interesting texture because the plate is so sticky okay so let me just real quick put down I think I'll put down some bubble wrap put down some bubble wrap pick up just a little bit of this schmutzy stuff going on here so we got a little bit more of a design and then I'll make a pull with some uh, paper that I have here similar to a deli paper again if you want to know you have to come take my class <laughs> I work hard at, at my job which is basically teaching online at artdemos.com so I share, but I don't share everything, so let me just show you, though, the design we're going to get from this because of the sugar in this recipe. Um, it's kind of a, it kind of gives you a, I don't know, I can't, I don't know what kind of a design I might call this, a schmutzy? It's a Yiddish word for messy, I guess, I don't know. I have a lot of friends who could probably tell me exactly what it means, but... All right, so anyway, this will pull up and see what we get. And, and you will see that there's an interesting design, something that you're not going to get on the commercial jelly only because it doesn't have any, the surface is not as sticky as the surface is because of the addition of the sugar um, from Chaz of, 
of Oz, um, her recipe included sugar, which I, the recipe below. So if you want to make yourself a sticky jelly plate, um, I'd say go ahead. I mean, I, I'm enjoying this. I, I'm enjoying the difference in the texture. You can see even just rolling the roller right over it is picking up the leftovers because it is so sticky. And it's picking up the plate too. Look at that. Look at that. So let's put that back down. Um, interesting though plate. I mean literally an interesting plate. And I've had a huge bubble in here. Let's go that way, buddy. Going that way. Uh, it, I made this in, an 8.5 by 11. <clears throat> just so that I could always cover my eight and a half by 11 papers. And, uh, huh, interesting. Basically cleaned it off. Let's do one more color. And what color do we want to do? Let's do a bright orange. This is with those Nans. This is a Craft Smart from Michael's, so it's not an, ex <gasps> oh great, because it is so sticky, things just stick to it. All right, so anyway, let's do that. And let me get another clean. And when I say clean, it's, that's my version of clean. Uh, and I want to spray it with a little jelly juice because I really want to make sure this doesn't, I don't get stuck to the plate again. So. It's just interest. I mean, it's really interesting kind of uh, textures that I'm getting because of the stickiness of the plate. I'm going to try it again using Lindsay's recipe without the sugar because I have a feeling that the sugar is uh, is what's giving this added stickiness to it, which is making me use this jelly juice a lot more than I usually do. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? It's not the best rollout of paint I've ever seen because it's getting stuck. And put, coming off the, you know, it's getting, well, look at the roller. I mean, the roller is not even picking up that good. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's just do another texture. Let's do a, a shelf liner. And I'm going to lay this down where my 8.5 by 11 paper will go. Because this is so stretched out right now, this jelly plate, uh, I, it's not, you know, when you, when you have a commercially made jelly plate, you plop it down, it doesn't usually go all flop all over the place. Unfortunately, this one, because it's so sticky and floppy, is uh, going here, there, and everywhere. Okay, so let me see if I can find. Here we go. So we've got an eight and a half by eleven sheet, and this is not going to be. This is not going to be a pretty picture. <laughs> this color is not. I will have to use this as a background, and then I will work around the colors. I'll mute it down with some antiquing or with some crackling that I show you how to do in Art of the Jelly on artdemos.com. And uh, let's just see what happens. Sticky icky, but interesting. Hmm. A lot more. Whoa, really neon though. Hmm. Yes, definitely neon. <laughs> that hurts my eyes. So there you go. There's there's what's coming up off the sticky jelly plate. Now I'm going to go try uh, the recipe. Well, I can't do it right now because I don't have any more glycerin left. I used all my glycerin up. But I am definitely going to go and try Lindsay's that does not have the sugar in it. And this had six, uh, six tablespoons, I think, of sugar. It, it, that's what's been giving the stickiness. It's almost like a, a piece of jello, you know, J-E-L-L-O, that's it's sticky. It's sticky, sticky. And I, as I said, I think it's because of the sugar. So, I invite you to uh, leave comments below. And if you're interested in learning a really intensive, um, five, well, it's actually five days and then there was a Saturday surprise. But if you're interested in learning more how to use the jelly with homemade tools and with uh, more of an artistic approach to it, I invite you to stop over and join www.artdemos.com and the link I'll put right below this. So thanks for watching and I'm going to keep on playing.
Okay, remember what I said, this is a jelly plate uh, using my recipe, which is below. And if you'd like to learn anything more about how to use a commercial jelly plate or using the homemade jelly plates, please join me uh, on Art of the, Art of the Jelly on um, http www.artdemos.com. And this is Kat, or Carolina Jersey Girl, signing off and saying thanks for watching.